When uh, Princeton first contacted me about his project entitled 2050, he explained to me that his vision for, for the film was that by that time, everybody was going to be having packages delivered to them via drone. We settled on four or five drones that would be used throughout the film and because of their distance from camera and uh, other scaling things we could do with the models, we could populate the skies with uh, enough different looking drones to make it convincing to the audience. So every shot, every exterior shot, every interior shot in the film where anything is visible of a skyline would be filled with drones carrying packages. Every shot in the film, there, it was impossible to really shoot it in front of green screen. So we, we had to uh, create many, many mats for, for all the shots, either hand rotoscoped or through what are called luminance keys, pulling the luminance, the brightness of the image in order to try to create a mat that we could use in order to mat the drones into the background and the people into the foreground. Our intention pretty much for these shots was not to distract the audience from what was going on in the dialogue of the actors. It was, it was meant to almost be invisible in the film. There was one shot in the interior in a loft where the drones in the background were going to be so small and so far back that we decided that we would put some in the foreground and uh, one of them we decided would be a, uh, a pizza delivery to the guys in the loft, which is really just the only joke that happens in the, in the film as far as drones go.